Hello guys, today I'm going to share with you guys information about tomato hornworm. It's a certain type of caterpillar that you can find in your gardens. Here in California, you can find them in spring and summer. They're about four inches long and the one that we found was three inches long. Now what these guys like to eat, they like to eat different kinds of leaves, including also eggplants, spicy peppers, yes, spicy peppers, and their favorite, tomato, tomatoes, as you can see by their name, tomato hornworm. Now, as you can see, you can see the damage caused by the tomato, I mean by the hornworm eating the tomato. And the other part that wasn't eaten by the tomato. Why they do this? Because they like the juiciest part in the tomato. And here is a tomato hornworm that I found in my garden. They have six legs, as you can see right there. One, two, three. The other three are on the other side. Those six legs are for to hold on vines and stems. And they have two hard little pointy back legs right there to have the main grip of not for them not to fall of the stem or vine. Like most caterpillars, these tomato hornworms will turn into cocoons. They will last 7 to 14 days in their cocoon until they become a moth. As you can see, I have a tomato hornworm here named Green Bean. It's under the ground because it's under the process of being a cocoon. Now, the reason why we can't dig it up and show you guys, because if we touch the skin of the worm, then it won't and then it will eventually die and not become a cocoon. And, and, the, and we're gonna be showing you for the next video, we're gonna be showing you the process of being a cocoon. And also, these caterpillars, like most caterpillars, turn into butterflies this one will turn into a moth about four inches long like this thank you for watching my video until next time and remember watch your step before you step because you never know what kind of creatures can be crossing your path